The purpose of a circle time lesson plan is to introduce your theme. So think about the children coming in for the day, they're coming in at the beginning of the week, and you're starting a new theme. And that theme is farm animals. And so you want to have a planned activity to do to introduce the theme to the children. So think about the children sitting in circle time. Children are sitting around you and you want to tell them what they're going to be learning about. And instead of just saying, boys and girls, today we're going to be learning about farm animals, I want you to think of an innovative way to introduce that. What else could you do besides say, boys and girls, today we're going to be learning about farm animals? Well, here's an idea. You could come in with a, a costume on that looks like a farm animal. Um, I've seen them in party stores. There's a cow costume. You could come in wearing that. You could come in wearing a hat that maybe had a rooster on top or that you could just stick a plastic rooster on top. You could read a book. You could sing Old MacDonald Had a Farm. So there's lots of different things that you could do to introduce and capture the children's attention so that it's not just boys and girls were learning about farm animals. So let's say I had a cow costume on and I came into circle time and the children were sitting at circle. What do you think the children would do? They probably would laugh because I have a big old cow costume on. And then you could ask them, what am I? What do you think, um, uh, why do you think I'm wearing this cow costume? And then lead into, what do you know about cows? Where do cows live? And then boys and girls, what do you think we're going to be learning about? We're going to be learning about cows and other farm animals. And then ask them what kinds of animals live on a farm. So when you look at your lesson plan, open up the lesson plan template. And the lesson plan template is going to say your subject. Your subject is circle time. And what is the purpose of this lesson? It is to introduce the theme of the, of the week, farm animals. The materials that you need, materials are going to be the farm, uh, the cow costume, or whatever you want to use whatever materials you're using for your lesson. And then your procedures are just what I said just then. Put on a cow costume, ask these questions, and I list those questions. And I list them in bullet form instead of paragraph form. The reason I list them in bullet form is because if I'm using a lesson plan to guide me, it's a lot easier to see the bullets or number them, one, two, three, four, five, than it is to look at a paragraph and find where I left, where I left off. Anytime you have a lesson that you teach, you will always have an objective and you'll always have an evaluation or assessment. Objective and evaluation or assessment. Evaluation and assessment are the same thing. They go hand in hand. So if your objective is to, for children to learn that they are learning about farm animals, your evaluation should say how you know those children have learned about farm animals. So let's, let's try this. Your objective is children to, will learn about farm animals, that farm animals is the theme of the week. The evaluation will say, children will individually tell me what they are learning this week. So that way I'll know that they know that we're learning about farm animals. I have to do something to measure, to see. So I'm going to ask them. But sometimes it might be an activity, sometimes it might be an oral question. Um, it, it could be whatever you want it to be, just as long as you know that they know. That evaluation tells how you're going to know that they know what that objective is for that week.